and welcome to lesson number two. In this video, we're going to talk about how to form our correct embouchure for the French horn and do some free buzzing. Now, remember, embouchure refers to the shape of our mouth in order to create a sound on our instrument. So for the French horn, we need to be able to buzz, similar to our other brass instruments. However, the embouchure and buzz on the French horn does have some very specific things we need to be aware of, unlike our other brass friends. All right, so let's start at the very beginning of how to form an embouchure for the French horn. Step one, wet your lips. Because if your lips aren't wet, you're just not gonna get the buzz you need. So wet your lips, and then we're gonna say, mmm, that nice M sound, like you had something really yummy to eat, mmm. All right, and next we're gonna say, Phew. like P-U, something gross I just smelled, okay? so. Wet your lips, say mmm, okay? Now, something else you can remember for creating that embouchure is imagine one of those tiny coffee stirs and imagine you're holding that in your mouth. So notice the size of my aperture hole when I did that and that the corners of my mouth got nice and firm when I did that. So that's about the size of the aperture you want. Something else to remember is that diamonds are an aperture's best friend. So you want a nice diamond shape in your aperture and imagine that diamond around your mouth as well. Okay, so again, wet your lips, say mmm, poof. Okay, now try that and just blow some air. Mmm, poof. Okay. Now something else that's really helpful for the French horn embouchure and buzz specifically is imagine you're spitting out a tiny little seed. Okay, or like a tiny hair you got in your mouth and you really don't want that in there anymore. Okay, so again, if we, if we always go back to that idea of spitting out a seed or a tiny hair. That is the buzz we want on the French horn. Now, if you're struggling with that, go ahead and start at a very nice, relaxed, basic buzz, which we'll call a motorboat, something like this. Okay, or like a raspberry. Now, once you get that, go ahead and slowly firm up your corners of your mouth into that coffee stir or spitting the seed shape. So, motorboat. Okay, and if you don't get it on the first try, that's okay. Keep trying and trying and trying until you get it. So once you can do that spitting the seed buzz, okay, and also notice how flat and firm my chin is when I do that. Okay, we can do some free buzzing exercises. Let's go ahead and start with just matching a pitch on our buzz and see if we can do it. And again, if you can't get it the first time, keep trying until you can match that sound. Let's go ahead and start with a concert C pitch. La. Let's see if we can buzz that pitch together. All right, very good. Now you can pick any pitch, but we're gonna start with C since that's one of the first notes we're gonna learn later. Okay, once you can match a pitch, then we're gonna try something called roller coasters where we're, or sirens, where we're just bending that buzzing pitch up and down freely like this. Okay, and see how far, how high, how low you can go with bending that roller coaster pitch. Okay, let's try that one more time. Ready, roller coaster. Okay, now once you can get the roller coaster, let's see if we can start doing maybe some simple five note scales. So if we start back on C. So it's similar to the roller coaster, but really isolating those different pitches. Now, once you feel like you can get a nice, good free buzz, we'll be ready to move on to buzzing on the mouthpiece. So I'll see you in lesson number three.